and Glossier, you're either going to love it or hate it. I feel like it can be very complimentary, especially if you just have one shade, dust it over the lid, a wee bit of gloss, stunning. So to achieve this, the eye gloss I'm going to be using is from Colourpop. It's the Face and Eye Gloss. It is an affordable option, but you can also use a clear lip gloss that you have in your collection. You don't necessarily need to use this. It does exactly the same job. And you're also going to take like a wee flat eye brush. And the key to this is taking a small amount of gloss at a time. I'm going to be using pattern motions. I'm not going to swipe with this because you do not want to disturb or disrupt any of the underlying shadow. I just feel like this can look so editorial yet slightly grungy as well. If I had done a bit of smoke along the lower lash line, I think this would be more grungy, but it's just like an editorial look to having a glossy lid. I think once I get to like the crease, I'm gonna wipe that off on myself. <laughs> I have my makeup pajama bottoms on, so it's fine. So yeah very minimal product now left on the brush and I'm going to go around the edges because obviously you patted it on up to the crease so you don't want a definite line there. Oh, stun on man, stun on! <laughs> and of course throughout time this is going to crease and does it feel sticky? Because I'm using a very minimal amount of the gloss it doesn't feel sticky. I suppose it's just like having a shimmer on the lid you see hitting these areas here on the lid, just in that wee nook <laughs> and at the crease, just where the light hits and bounces off the lid. Can feel a wee bit strange to start with and a wee bit uncomfortable, especially if you're not used to it. But I highly suggest that you try a glossy lid.